I'm up on the Langlochlin, or however you say it, canal, and to see this narrowboat, she's absolutely beautiful from front to back, or bow to stern. She's called Fiddlestick. She's 60 feet long, semi-trad, built in 2008 by Tyler Wilson, fitted out really, really nicely by Darren Barker. She's fitted out in light American oak. She was last blacked in 2021. Four anodes on her at the time, new ones. The last survey was in 2019. Owners seem to have mislaid a copy of that, but um, they're trying to find it. Viewings will be by appointment only, because she's up cruising in the Nantwich area. She's not here at the office. The pram hood and cratch cover were new in 2022. Five and a half thousand pounds worth, actually. In superb condition. The paintwork's lovely. Two glazed side hatches on board and three Houdini hatches, so there's... And the, the, the portholes are huge, actually. They're 17 inches, but for a porthole boat, she's really light. The gas bottles are in the forward locker there. Two 13 kilos with a changeover valve. I'm not going to try and show you inside there. For obvious reasons, I'll get wet. Done it once, don't want to do it again, thank you. The well deck is uh, 5 foot 6 inches long. There is a demountable table that goes in here. Lovely floor. There's lockers with padded cushions, providing some seating. Glazed cratch board. Here comes the Commodore. Glazed front doors and bulkheads. That helps with the light in the boat. There's also two of these lights at the top of the cratch cover. The water tank's under there, by the way. Stainless steel, 680 litres with a tank gauge. And in we go. The flooring is Carndine. There's a two-seater reclining sofa there opposite the television with a footstool. The stove there, more so squirrel, that was new in 2021. Storage under these steps. Lovely woodwork, I like the inlays and the cupboard doors. Three cupboards here. The owners have been living on her for the last few years, so she has got stuff on board. Television there on the wall, it's 22 inch cello TV DVD. There's an internet router, so a lot of the telly they watch is through the internet. There's a nice, that makes a nice little writing desk as well, actually, that cupboard door. Bumble having a look in there. Yeah, that's okay, Daddy, on you go. Lovely radiator there, so the L shaped couch has got storage underneath it. There are a couple of demountable tables. Head height on the boat's huge, six foot seven. All the lights are LED apart from one bulb in the bathroom. This makes into a spare double berth, and under here is a 12 volt shoreline freezer. That pulls out the lid, just lifts up. Absolutely lovely room, a glazed side hatch there on the uh, starboard side. Oh, I didn't mention the well deck, the cratch cover over the well deck has fly screens, as do both of the side hatches on board. Another Houdini hatch in the galley. The worktops in here are granite. The saloon, including the Jeanette by the way, is 15 feet long, and the galley is 9 feet long, so lots and lots of space. Lovely sink. There's so much storage on this boat, I should say. Try not to miss a cupboard for you, Mike. Oh, Bumble's having a quick look. There's the sink, side hatch over it. <laughs> I think they like orange juice. And here's the Waco three-way fridge. It's running on 12 volts at the moment. That was brand new in 2019. Eye level oven and grill. And above that is a Russell Hobbs microwave. On the other side of the boat, there's a larder cupboard. I think this chap likes to cook. Lots of spices in the spice rack. Or the lady, actually. I shouldn't be sexist. But he did tell me he likes to cook. Bosch full-size washing machine. And a bank of eight drawers here. Power on the boat. You will not struggle. 12 volts. There's 220 amp hours of lithium batteries. They typically, when everything's been used, drain about 10 to 13% overnight and the solar power, 750 watts of it, they're back to 100% by about 10 o'clock normally. All these pulley out cupboardy things. <coughs> There's another one. 
He likes his milk as well, to be British. You can see the demountable tables there under the gunnels. So 12 volts, plenty of. 230 volts, there's a sterling 1600 watt inverter or a two, uh, three and a half kilowatt travel power generator. They put that on for the washing machine and stuff. That basin is stone, it's really lovely. Big cupboard underneath. Really good sized quadrant shower. There's a Houdini hatch in here as well, as by the way, over the bathroom. The loo is a macerator pump out. The floor of the shower is stone as well. It's really lovely. Heated towel rail, the bathroom measures at six feet. And into the bedroom. 12 feet, four inches long. Stylish radiator there. It's a cross bed, six foot, two inches long, five feet wide. Very easily made up. Don't know if you noticed, all the portals, portals and windows have lovely Roman blinds. Very large wardrobe here with mirrors on both doors. Little cabinets either side of the bed with a shelf on for your cups of tea. There's another television there, that's an Avtex 18 inch TV DVD. And under here <coughs> is a tumble dryer. Zanussi. Storage under those steps and a really nice arrangement here with the steps leading up to the back deck. The electrics covered in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, oh, yes, sorry, I was just trying to show you that. That's a clear screen that pulls over the, that, the, the, the exit here. So you can lie in bed and have light coming in. It's lovely. It also has a fly screen that pulls over. So you can shut the back doors and have a big window or fly screen. Now, there's the travel power generator and the uh, inverter. Solar control on the side there. Paintwork's lovely on this boat. Nice floor there. Lockers either side. They obviously double up as benches. You saw the controls for the bow thruster there. That's a Vetus 95 KGF bow thruster. The engine's in here. It's a Beta 43 PRM 150 gearbox. Pretty clean and tidy in there. Central heating on board I've not mentioned. It's a Webasto, new in 2019, two radiators and a towel rail. The hot water is heated by the engine, the Webasto, or once the batteries are full with the solar, the solar then dumps it into the immersion, I suppose, for the hot water, so it's a solar dump. Really lovely boat, this beautiful finish, lovely woodwork, really nice and light. Comes with a lot of navigation equipment, everything that you could need, including an anchor with a chain and rope. And I can't really see anything to dislike about her, but it's not me that's buying her. So there we go, Fiddlesticks, lovely boat. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboat.co.uk.